All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, my co-pilot is here with me today. We are watching the movie Ghostbusters. I made attempts to watch this before, like when it came out, I was three. I don't know y'all remember the go well. I know y'all remember the Ghostbusters cartoon. I used to love the cartoon. Majority of what I know about Ghostbusters come from the cartoon. My mom took me. We went there, whatever, to go watch the Ghostbusters. Well, started crying because I got scared. So we left. And I was, I literally talked to her today and was asking her about it because she asked me what I was watching and I told her Ghostbusters. She was like, oh yeah, she said, I never got to see the whole thing. I said, why not? She was there because when I took you to the movies, you start crying. I said, did I get scared? She's like, yeah. I said, what scared me? Would a ghost scare me? She said, no. I cried early in the movie because it was a loud sound. I know some of y'all probably judging me. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. Shut up. Let me alone. I was not the same person did that I am now. I built different. I know loud sound still scared me, but shut up. I know Rick Moranis is in the movie. I know um, Bill Murray's in the movie. I know Sagoni Weaver's in the movie. And I know somewhere we're going to see a big marshmallow man. We're going to see this guy. I know I shouted out once before, but Bebo got me this. Y'all see Bebo in the chat? Holler at him. Bebo got me this. But we're watching Ghostbusters today. I'm excited to watch it. Can y'all hear him snoring? For real, can y'all hear him suck up all this oxygen in the room? Tell you, he, he snores like a grown man. Looking forward to watching this today with y'all. I'm actually looking forward to doing a lot of these weekend movies with y'all. Like John Wick. I'm watching John Wick next week. I know John Wick. You know what I'm saying? But John Wick 4 coming out. So I can't watch John Wick 4 on the channel without having the first three John Wicks on there. So I'm excited for the weekend movies. Like, because it's going to be a mixed bag of stuff I've seen, I haven't seen. So I'm here for it. Hopefully y'all be here for it too. But before we get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to hit that like and subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification. I want to say thank y'all, because I'm pretty sure by the time y'all see this, we'll be sitting at 25,000. We have tw we have gained 25,000 subscribers in like eight months. I love every single one of y'all. Y'all mean the world to me. Down there is the um, description, a link to the Patreon. Over there on the Patreon, you get early access to all my full-length YouTube videos. You get exclusive TV shows and exclusive movies reactions as well. You also get access to our Friday polls. If you want to have a um, if you want to have a say so on what I watch on Fridays, you need to head over there. But with that being said, I'm looking forward to getting to this movie. So I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. You want to tell them wrong? You ready? You ready, baby? He about to take a nap. We say you know the other side. Let's get it. I'm just stopping by real quick to tell y'all. We are now doing EOL merch. So there's a link right here that Blank's gonna put up. Or you can find the link in the store. We're now doing pre-orders on shirts. We got the shut up shirt, we got the murder whistle tee, and we got the EOM logo hoodie shirt. It's something y'all been asking us to do. We're doing it now. Um, we got some more ideas for some shirts later. Like, um, we got the night, night, night. Wait, 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 wait. Like, we got the night, night shirt coming. We got the ink shirt coming. <laughs> we got the check the, you know what I'm saying? It's coming. We even working on a co-pilot shirt. You know what I mean? So, tell them, baby. Tell them how to over to the store. Go over there and get you some EOL merch. Don't make the baby sad. <laughs> It's me and one other person doing this. So he's making them. He sent them to me, and I'm sending them to y'all. So we're going to be shipping them when they're available. So don't worry about the whole thing saying like two weeks. As soon as I get them, I'm sending them. I'm going to get off here so y'all get to the video. I'll see you on the other side. The other, other side.
You know, I've never been in a library and a library be crowded like that. Never in my life. Hey, do you not see that? Like, this is why I can't have no job working somewhere that's this big by myself. You don't hear none of this. You, you, you don't hear none of that. I don't think she running fast enough. She don't have the right amount of fear. Okay, so she had the right amount of fear then. So I'm pretty sure she had a stroke or a heart attack right there. I'm gonna turn over the next car. I want you to concentrate. It's like burning him. Square. Good guess, but wrong. <laughs> I ain't volunteered to get shocked by no no f that. Tell me what you think it is. Is it a star? It is a star. Very good. That's great. Bill Murray ain't shit. I don't like this. You only have 75 more to go. Oh, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not saying I'm up for that. I mean, I'll walk out. There's a couple of wavy lines. Sorry. This isn't your lucky day. No, I, uh... hey! I'm getting a little tired of this. You volunteered, didn't you? Hey, he ain't. We're paying you, aren't we? How much they paying him? You can keep the five bucks I've had. I will, mister. Listen. Do you think I have it, Dr. Venkman? You're no fluke, Jennifer. So is he like a professor? Is he f***ing his students? Is he Indiana Jones? Ten people witnessed a free-floating, full-torso vaporous apparition. Oh, he used big words. Roger Delacroix, are you the men from the university? Yes, I'm Dr. Brinkman. So they are teachers. Symmetrical book stacking, just like the Philadelphia mass turbulence of 1947. You're right, no human being would stack books like this. I mean, I wouldn't, but it seems very pointless. <laughs> is that? Raymond, look at this. Did it jizz on everything? Beckman, get a sample of this. If somebody blows their nose and you want to keep it. I'd like to analyze it. Oh. Ah. This way. Uh, I want that in my hand. His glasses were created in the cartoon. He had like a mullet thing. One of the mother. Now they got a black dude. It's here. A full torso apparition. Out of range. So what do we do? And y'all Ghostbusters? Stop that! We've got to make contact. One of us should actually try to speak to it. Good idea. And y'all see the hill. I'm Peter. Shh. And a bit system. The usual stuff isn't working. Okay. I have a plan. I know exactly what to do. Do exactly as I say. I wouldn't do none of that. Get her! I will stay back there. Listen, if I call you because I got a ghost and you're the expert on ghosts and you disappear for a while, the next time I see you, you're running out the building, I'm running right with you, step for step. Professional paranormal investigations and eliminations of franchise rights alone will make us rich beyond our wildest dreams. So Bill Murray's the leader of this group. That could be dangerous as hell. It just seems a little pricey for a unique fixer-upper opportunity, that's all. Hey, does this pole still work? Wow, this place is great! 
When can we move in? He's like a big ass kid. I think we'll take it. But he just said 15 things wrong with it. Oh, I forgot my bulls in this. She's some bad boy. Oh, Dan, it's you. Oh, hi. Yes, Liz, it's me. I thought it was a drugstore. You know his ankle's cold. Rick, <laughs> Rick Miranda is 5'3", wearing pants for somebody that's 4'8". Listen, that reminds me, you shouldn't leave your TV on so loud when you go out. The creep down the hall phone the manager. I turned up my TV real loud, too, so everyone would think that Bye, both Lord. our TVs had something wrong with them. Okay, so I'll see you later, huh? I'll give you a call. Oh, he weird as f***. I'm going to have a shower. Like, he got two inches of shin sticking out his pants. Go Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. We're ready to believe you. That's a horrible commercial. How they going to do commercials talking about we're ready to believe you? They ain't took care of the thing at the library. I got hyped because I seen Stay Puffs on the marshmallow things. But, um. What the f is that? Hey, listen. <laughs> what the f is going on? I don't know. First off, I never would have seen that. Because once the eggs start cooking on the, the counter by itself, I'd have moved. The next person would have found that. I'd have been in a whole new state. I'm telling y'all right now. Let one of them Funko Pop start floating by themselves or something. The next time you see a video from me, I bet you'll be a different location. Don't stare at me. You got the bug eyes. That's because her glass is big as f That's why she got bug eyes. Excuse me, is this this is the Ghostbusters office? Yes, it is. The music gave me the change when she walked in the room. They know she's bad. I'd like to talk to someone, please. Listen. I'm Peter Vinkman. May I help you? And this voice said, Zool. And then I slammed the refrigerator door and I left. That was two days ago, and I, I haven't been back to my apartment. Did it say a name? All I heard was a roar. Well, I could go to Hall of Records and check out the structural details in the building. Well, maybe the building itself has a history of psychic turbulence. Right, good idea. I could look for the name Zool in the usual literature. Why can't they just go to her apartment? I'll take Miss Barrett back to her apartment and check her out. I'll go check out Miss Barrett's apartment. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bill Murray ain't Just you? Yes. Good. What the f is he doing? What is that thing you're doing? It's technical. It's one of our little toys. I see. I thought he had like an orchid pump. You know, you don't act like a scientist. They're usually pretty stiff. You're more like a game show host. Or a pimp. One of the two. Look at all the junk food. God damn it, look, this wasn't here. You actually eat this Look, stuff? this wasn't here. There was nothing here. There was a space. I think my mama had that pot. Either I have a monster in my kitchen or I'm completely crazy. I don't think you're crazy. Oh, good. That makes me feel so much better. Hey, Bill Murray is the definition of shooters. He is shooting, boy. I'm going to go for broke. I am madly in love with you. I don't believe this. Will you please leave? My man's not in love with you. He just met her like four hours ago. To our first and only customer. Yes, of course. Oh, they'll be totally discreet. Thank you. We got one! The call! He taking his food with him. Hey.
the high C, the ecto high C, hey, best high C in the world. I don't even know if they still make it, but they do. If you ain't never drunk it, hey, you're missing out. Best high C ever. What are you supposed to be, some kind of a cosmonaut? No, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on 12. That's got to be some cockroach. I wonder how much one of them things weigh. You know, it's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. And it says no smoking. That dude was just smoking a cigar. I love Bill Burr. The hell are you doing? Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. We thought you were someone else. Successful test. I guess so. Also, it just may do. I mean, he looked like my uncle when he smoked. And hey, that's Slimer. Oh, that's why I was a good guy. Disgusting blob. Huh. That being quiet ain't gonna work, is it? Don't move. It won't hurt you. Ah! He's a bit. Me. I will quit. That'd be my last days of Ghostbusters right there. Ready? Throw it! They're a shit up. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. Okay. All right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. I mean, you wouldn't feel it. Okay, Ray. Just give me one eye outside. <laughs> Was this a wedding reception? I assure you, Mrs. Van Houten, there is no problem with the room. It will be ready promptly at time as soon as your guests are with us. You excuse me, please. Oh, they f that whole sh up. Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. And the flowers are still standing. Go! Okay, hold him up there. He's gonna move. Hold him up. I mean, now you'll never slime a guy with a positron collider, huh? Did it just fork? Don't look directly into the trap. I looked at the trap, Ray. Get ready. I'm closing it. Now! Hey, you know how awesome that would be? Like, that's your job. I mean, I wouldn't like getting slimed. I would quit. That's something that happened. But you catching ghosts with nuclear weapons. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Did you see it? What is it? Sir, what you had there was what we refer to as a focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm or a class five full roaming vapor. Real nasty one, too. $5,000? I had no idea to be so much. I won't pay it. Well, that's all right. We can just put it right back in there. We certainly can, no, Dr. Venkman. No, no, no! I mean, that seems like a good deal. $5,000 to catch a ghost? My grandma used to spin yarns about a spectral locomotive that would rocket past the farm where she grew up. But now... That dude looked like Shia LaBeouf in the background. I know this song. Why is there so many f***ing ghosts in New York? This is Casey Kasem. Now, on with the countdown. Damn. I ain't heard a Casey Kasem thing in a long time. Shut the f*** up. My man is having dirty dreams about a ghost sucking his dick. 
Do you believe in UFOs, astral projection, spirit photography, telekinetic movements, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? If there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. Hey, I feel Dr. Beckman, this is a surprise. That was a wonderful rehearsal. You heard that? Yes, you're the best one in your row. Oh, he a stalker. Gozer was very big in Samaria. Well, what's he doing in my icebox? I'm working on that. If we could get together Thursday night, I'm thinking nine-ish. Hey, shoot or shoot. I'm making a special exception in your case because I respect you. It's corny, but I respect you as an artist. Because you bad to the mouth, that's why. Bye, well, I'll see you Thursday. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you, sir, and I'm glad you're feeling much better. You're still very pale, though. Hey, he's an old asshole. Has, has Bill Murray not been awesome or something? Can I help you? I'm Walter Peck. I represent the environmental... F this dude. That's the, that's the dude from Die Hard, ain't it? I'm going to tell you how to let the little girl be on TV. F*** him already. And where do you put these ghosts once you catch them? Into a storage facility. Why you in my business, bitch? Why do you want to see the storage facility? Well, because I'm curious. I want to know more about what you do here. Now you either show me what is down there, or I come back with a court order. Do he might die in this movie? So if they do, I hope he's the first. Are those are those gargoyles? Hey, somebody is jamming. Oh, Dana, it's you. Hello, Lewis. You gotta come in here. You're missing a classic party. Hey, he had to be in the little peephole looking at her for her the whole time. We're gonna play Twister. We're gonna do some break dancing. Hey, hey, let me in. It's Lewis. Somebody let me in. Hey. <laughs> Lewis is different. Listen, I would not be back in this apartment. I don't. I don't know how she's been sleeping here. My refrigerator growled at me from a different dimension. Love to dad. Right. Bye. Bye. See, bitch. Look. 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 That is not the refrigerator. You fall aliens, bitch. You know better. Shit. Shut up! I might have peed a little. Had a little dribble. God, dog, that scared the shit out of me. Well, don't leave yet. Well, listen, maybe if we start dancing, other people will join in. Okay. Oh, don't move. I just got to get the door. My man was dancing like this. They got 15000 left on the house at 8%. So they're okay. Do we see the monster in the corner? Okay, who brought the dog? <laughs> Oh, my whole stomach hurting. I'm going to bring us up at the next tenants meeting. There's not supposed to be any pets in the building. Bro, that's not a pet. All right, I'm going to Dana Barrett's. Okay. Oh, she gone, folks. Hello. That's a different look for you, isn't it? Are you the key master? Uh, not that I know of. Did, didn't she just get eight? I mean, didn't didn't didn't, didn't it happen to her? Are you the key master? Yes, I'm a friend of his. He told me to meet him here. Why why is she over here? I didn't get your name. I'm Zul. I'm the gatekeeper. We never talk anymore. <laughs> I'm making a rule. 
Never to get involved with possessed people. She got me. I want you inside me. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I can't. Sounds like you got at least two people in there already. It ain't been a third. I promise you that. She got me. What I'd really like to do is talk to Dana. I want to talk to Dana. There is no Dana. There is only Zoo. Just relax. Come on. And he handled this very well. There is no Dana. Only Zoo. Oh, it's time to go. Um. Why are we still there? Please come down. I am Vince. Vince Clortho, key master of Gozer. Hey, he pulls the wagon. I make the deals. You want to ride? You will perish in flame! You will perish in flame! I gave up! What an asshole. Bro, his eyes turn red. He's a little more than an asshole. And he got the thing Doc Brown had on. Egon, it's Peter. Thanks, I've got it. I have some news from the world of Gozer. The Goz has been putting some moves on my would-be girlfriend. I just whacked her up with about 300 cc's of Thorazine. She's going to take a little nap now. So he walks around with that on him? Hey, she asleep like how Drogo sleep. God, I hate this dude. I hope one of them dogs eat him. I'm warning you, turning off these machines would be extremely hazardous. I'll tell you what's hazardous. You're facing federal prosecution for at least a half a dozen environmental violations. Now, either you shut off these beams or we shut them off for you. I'm telling you, I hope he burns in hell. Don't shut it off. I'm warning you. Shut it off! Damn shame what happens. So, so all the ghosts they had is gone. Hold it! I want this man arrested. These men are a criminal violation of the Environmental Protection Act, and this explosion is a direct result of it. Your mother! Hey, hold it! Hold it! Hold it! How are you gonna arrest him? You do you don't want to didn't. That's a lot of ghosts. They trying to turn New York into Detroit, ain't they? Look at her! Oh. Shut up! Did she do that? Your girlfriend lives in the corner penthouse of Spook Central. Something terrible is about to enter our world, and this building is obviously the door. So can we knock down the building? After the First World War, Shandor decided that society was too sick to survive. And he wasn't alone. He had close to a oh. thousand followers when he died. Hey, they all in their focus, ain't they? Bizarre rituals intended to bring about the end of the world and now it looks like it may actually happen. Why do everybody want to end the world? But I gotta get my own lawyer. Okay, Ghostbusters. Shut the f up! The whole island's going crazy. Let's go. They got Coral Winslow and this bitch! So Ghostbusters, Die Hard, and Family Matters is all in the same universe. Watch you dip my dude like that. These men are consummate snowball artists. People think they're seeing ghosts. Everything was fine with our system until the power grid was shut off by Dickless here. They caused an explosion. They caught a man Dickless. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Break it up. Break it up. 
All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, that's what I heard. I'm uh, Winston Zettimore, Your Honor. Hey, they got some last names on them. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. But what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, nothing happens. We go to jail peacefully, quietly. We'll enjoy it. But if I'm right, you will have saved the lives of millions of registered voters. Hey. I don't believe you're seriously considering listening to these men. It's Bill Murray. You gotta listen to him. Now, what do you need from me? Are they quick, ain't they? So, do they have to catch all them ghosts again? And while we outside watching, I will be gone. How can you not love that guy? Well, Dr. Ray Stance, would you please? The heart of the Ghostbusters. Thank you. They love you. I like that shirt, Brad. All right. Hey, he built for that. He said, I've been a celebrity my whole life. Y'all better Google me. That's why I wouldn't be outside. I would be gone. And they just standing around. You want to play rough? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, go. Hey, go. That's hilarious. <laughs> them ghosts. I'm not walking the boat on the steps. I got asthma. I can't do that. Where are we? Teens. Somewhere. Okay. But when we get to 20, tell me, I'm going to throw up. I mean, why have she been posing this whole time? Why is her damn demon horny? 22. Is this it? Did it not have an elevator? Why they got a big wheel up there? Hey, where do these stairs go? Bruh, we, we just got here together. They go up. How do I know? Okay, go ahead. Come on, go ahead. Oh, shit. Damn! Oh. Come on! Okay. So, she's a dog. Big ass dogs. Girl. Hey, she got a mean flat top. Gozer. I thought Gozer was a man. Whatever it wants to be. Go get her, Ray. As a duly designated representative of the city, county, and state of hey. New York, I order you to cease any and all supernatural. Why why I look like um Bridget Nielsen? Are you a god? No. Then... Why would he say no? Ray, when someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! Hey, facts! I'm like, yep. Let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. What's wrong with her eyes? They didn't make a toy of her. Aim for the flat top! So how do you how do you catch her? Uh, we have the tools, we have the talent. It's Miller time. Nah, bro, still like 20 minutes left in this movie. Y'all ain't weird. And we ain't seen the Marshmallow Man yet. Look out! Why are y'all still outside? 
Fine. Choose and perish. Jeez, sorry. What do you mean choose? We don't understand. Whatever we think of, if we think of J. Edgar Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover will appear and destroy us, okay? So empty your heads. The traveler has come. Nobody choose anything. Did you choose anything? No. Did you? The line is totally blank. I didn't choose anything. Hey, it was him. Look at his face. I, I, I tried to think. Look! It can't be. What did you do, Ray? Oh, shit. Shut the f up. He's a bad guy? It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. How are you a bad guy you made out of marshmallows? I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. Oh, kill him. Kill him. Oh, kill him. Cross the streams. Excuse me, Egon. You said crossing the streams was bad. Cross the streams. There's definitely a very slim chance we'll survive. I mean, I would do it because I can't. I can't go out by marshmallows. I I can't show up to heaven and they're like, "How you die, marshmallow man?" That's a person. See you on the other side, Ray. Nice working with you, Doctor Beckman. Hey, he big man too. Look at his face. Hey man, what's that called? The being a Jordan marshmallow. Um, they just made marshmallow cream for all New York. I hope you drowned in it, bitch. Which big ass boulder would have been in the middle of that? Bankman. Spangler! I bet that shit's delicious. Oh, are you okay? I feel like the floor of a taxi cab. I don't know how that would feel, but that, that just sounds nasty. Why ain't he got a whole bunch of on him? Everybody else covered. It smells like barbecued dog hair. So they, they killed my boo? Look! <sighs> hey, she look like new money. Somebody turn on the lights! Boy, the superintendent's gonna be pissed. Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. The superintendent. Who does your taxes? You have been a participant in the biggest interdimensional cross rip since 1909. Felt great. We'd like to get a sample of your brain tissue. Okay. He just cool with it, like, okay. I love this town! In your neighborhood. you going? Watch your guys hair! She was a dog! Hey, he shook his head and fixed his hair like it was long. So, we just got finished watching Ghostbusters. And, um, first, I didn't know Slimer and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was bad guys. I guess it makes more sense that a guy civilized Marshmallow Man be a bad guy, but I always thought Slimer was like a good ghost. It's a little different from the cartoon. And I can see why my mom said I cried. Because, I mean, there's a couple things in there. I, I mean, I like I told y'all, I was scared of sloth. So y'all already know. It's really about 25 different things I could point out off the top of my head that would make me cry. Like, that librarian. I, I bet, I bet that's as far as I made it, too, was that librarian. I bet you. Remember the names because it's a cartoon. And like I know about the like the proton, proton packs and stuff like that, but it's weird seeing it like the real life movie. What little knowledge I remember of the the cartoon, 
because where they're not exactly the same. I mean, like I said, it's the same characters. Like, um, but um, like I said, I I enjoyed the movie. I really did because I love Bill Murray. This was really fun. Like, I know there's two more Ghostbusters movies. I can't wait to watch them. It's crazy how they was trying to help the city and one person messed everything up. That's all. It always takes one person to mess everything up. I can't stand that dude. I, I can't stand him to the point where if I've seen him in real life, I can't even talk to him because every time I've seen him, he's been a jerk. And I can't stand him. If I ever, ever, if I ever, ever, ever have an opportunity in life, I want only an Ecto one. I love this movie. It was a really good movie. I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed watching it for y'all. Y'all didn't do it for me earlier. Please do it for me now. Hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out um, the link to our Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I'm going to give a shout out to our VIPs. I'm going to give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, Big Al, Robin, John the Patrick, Simon X, Lost Opportunity, aka um, Crow Crow, Cody Stoudemire, Frost1997, Paul Sawicki, Brady B. Olsen, Adam, Anna Rondo, Big Frank, Echo, Nareen, apologize, Namron, TJ Gingler, Kevin Riley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., The Brandons, Garrett, Nicholas Jenkins, Christopher, um, William Baldwin, um, Jennifer, and um, Natalie. I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank the rest of y'all for being part of the family as well. We just recently hit 25,000. That's amazing. I'm trying to tell them. But tell them bye. Tell them night night. Wrong. Tell them night night. Night night.